Grass has overtaken the soil where the traces and proof lie. The details of the 1,620 people revealed in the exhibition are not the details of the missing or disappeared persons, but rather the details of people who were abducted, may disappear by force, executed and hidden in, in mass graves, which over the course of more than 20 years since the crimes were committed against the people of Kosovo have been obscured, thus making the search and as a result their discovery more and more complicated topic. The Grave is Better Than Not Knowing is the title of the exhibition which came out as a result of a conversation with Kumriya Yahmuratai, one of the many relatives of the disappeared still waiting for their loved ones. This phrase echoes just as mournfully as its indefinite weight of family members, which takes the shape of a macabre hope. Within the space that shapes its outlines, this exhibition takes over a difficult role. Due to a multitude of gaps and absences, it becomes a temporary grave that does not contain a human, but only his or her memory. The past always comprises absence, first as an absence of presence, and it is this very enigma that forms the base of the work. The enigma is that of the presentation of the absence, the manifestations of the past that is now behind us, of something that is preserved in the memory and is essentially indescriptible. Is this precisely to this memory that the artistic intervention is dedicated? to the indestructible living memory of those who do not forget. In fact, the stones and the time of the installation merge with each other on one mission, becoming equivalence. A stone is, in essence, a multitude of elements and minerals that together with time allow for the formation of petrological mass. Stones are much more than everything else witnesses of time because they themselves contain it, while time is a witness and a steward of every layer of this petrological mass. These two elements also contain the disintegrated shards of this barbaric humanity where the shared civilian body remains the final battlefield of modern conflict. I know that the rocks give you a very cold feeling at the time you touch them, but at the same time, I know that the digital clocks and the red light they emit will give a sort of an alerting uh, uh, message to the people and probably make each one of us reflect and try to do something more for the fate of those people because uh, it tells a lot on, on the stage of what effects war can have, what effects war has had on us and what is also haunting us because uh, there are uh, at least uh, 1,620 hearts still burning and there are uh, the same number of hearts or more than that who have the burden of closing their, their issues with, with the missing persons they have and this is a matter of uh, reflecting and also this is a space where people can reflect and maybe after they leave the exhibition hall can come up with something and everyone can can contribute or do something to the fate of those people. The amnesty tended from time to time by international and local institutions during the past two decades has led to episodes of collective amnesia, which remains eternally unresolved. It is a structured act of forgetting, 
with a layered bureaucracy that extends to all levels of everyday life, killing the victims anew and annihilating the disappeared over and over again. And finally, forgetting that the family members and loved ones of those forcibly disappeared, who live their lives seeking and waiting for answers, are the real victims. They resist with the strength of these stones while also waiting for a stone. That is, resolution, a cure for their indescribable anxiety and the possibility to weep over the grass that will sprout.